Today, I wanna to tell you a story th that I think is pretty cool, and then I'm gonna show off something in DaVinci Resolve that I think is just spectacular. Actually, let's, let, let's flip that. I'll show you off the cool thing first. I'm here in DaVinci Resolve, and if I grab a plain text plus effect, and I just right click in this little uh, box here where you type in your text, I can come down and I have a number formatter option. I click that, and then I actually need to uh, press this button to jump into the Fusion page for this next part. But once I do that, if I click this little template node, then in my inspector, I can click on modifiers, and I have a whole bunch of options here. I can pull up this value that represents the value of the text. I can add in a prefix, uh, like what, a dollar sign or a suffix. I can make that tacos. And then you can see I have a decimal separator option. If I pull up this decimals, it'll start to show me uh, numbers uh, or decimals after this period. And if I don't want this period, if I want it to be a comma, like in lots of other countries, I have that options. I can also pull up minimum characters. If I pull this back down and you know, I pull this up to like five or and pull those decimals back down, then it will always show me a certain amount that like as that adds up, you see, you see what's going on there. And then, you know, if I pull this way up, the last option is this thousand separator. You can do it to a comma or a period, or, you know, you got all these other options um, that I, uh, you know, assume are used all over different places, all over the world. That's incredible. And if you go into DaVinci Resolve right now, grab a text plus option, right click in this window, you will not see number formatter. And that is what the story part is all about. And the story part will include how to get this for yourself. And hey, it's free. Um, but there's there's a little bit of an, uh, I think, interesting journey. So, you know, if you want to skip ahead, you can do that. Um, but I think the story is pretty fun, too. So let's do it. You see, just a little while ago now, I released a new product for DaVinci Resolve that I called Number Plus. I've got it right here in Titles, Sterling Supply Co. And if I drag Number Plus onto my timeline, you see it has all the normal text plus options and a number tab where you have, uh, you know, some of the same controls we just saw earlier. You can pull up this value select, pull up the decimals, change a prefix, change the suffix. Um, so <laughs> I made this as a super valuable uh, edit page, drag and drop effect, having no knowledge of the number formatter thing flo floating around out there. <laughs> and as soon as I released this and had a video all about it, um, by the way, I was also selling this for a few bucks because, you know, I think it's pretty neat, pretty useful. I hadn't seen anything else like this, but I released it. And then pretty soon after that video went live, I got a little comment saying like, hey, did you know there's this other thing out there that kind of does the same thing, but kind of better? And it's also free. And I said, I did not know that. Tell me more. So I started chatting with this guy and then emailing. And then I went on, you know, this goose chase treasure hunt, trying to track down um, what this guy told me about. And he told me the name Number Formatter, which, you know, I guess is a little vague. And I had uh, trouble finding this for a while, but eventually I tracked it down. And it's it's incredible, like I showed off. It does everything I plugged into this and more. Um, of course, some small differences, uh, like you just saw, hey, I dropped mine right on the edit page. Um, and, you know, if you're only working, uh, with numbers in like English speaking countries, you know, uh, it does most of the stuff as step except for, you know, that minimum like values feature, which I think is pretty cool. But in this search, I was reminded of how much of the incredible resolve and really specifically the fusion community is is hidden away in different parts of the internet and that most of the broader community has no idea of. And there's some really incredible stuff going on just like this. I had never seen anyone talk about this and I've been, you know, in this community, even doing some like advanced fusion stuff for a while now, I had never heard of this. So I'm very excited, one, to show it to all of you, but also just to reaffirm how much cool stuff is going on out there and to point you to some really valuable resources um, you know, as as you're trying to get a little deeper, get more out of this software. But kind of long story short, this search led me to the forums. Specifically, this forum post on the official Blackmagic Design forums from Roger Magnussen, who made this really awesome tool, by the way. And he has, you know, just this post in the general section of DaVinci Resolve saying, hey, here's a bunch of stuff about creating scripts. Now, scripts, super powerful, and I've like almost never touched scripts but here he has this post just talking about how to get up and running lots of resources 
And in this download section, he has links to all these different scripts, but then he also has a uh, fuses folder in there. Now you don't need to get super in the weeds with all of what all of these individual different specific things are, uh, but fuses are just like external tools that someone made that you can add into Fusion. And you see here, number formatter, and this is just a download link. And he also has a specific uh, uh, post about uh, installation procedures. Of course, I will link to this forum post. Um, you know, you just have to find the right folder to drop this in. But then, like I showed off, uh, you can just get up and running. And hey, this post is kind of just like the introduction. Then, you know, you end up with like this like mini course uh, about scripting that like, man, I would love to dive into. Um, but for now, I'm showing you all this cool number stuff. <laughs> and if you download this, you'll see you'll just get this number formatter dot fuse. And if you click through the post, you'll see boom, installation, find these folders on your computer, drop it in, and then boom, number formatter. Anytime you drop a text plus uh, either effect on your edit page timeline, or if uh, I drop a fusion effect, fusion composition, open that in fusion, create a text plus node, then in the same way, I can right click in that uh, uh, style text box here, number formatter option appears after it's installed, then over on modifiers, we have all those options. It's so cool. And now a lot of you might know that before Fusion was added to DaVinci Resolve, it was a standalone piece of software that had, you know, decades of development behind it. It was owned by another company like Magic Bought It through it inside uh, Resolve. But because of that, there is so much information floating out there um, about Fusion. Uh, this Blackmagic design uh, forum like I've uh, showcased is super good. But for those of you who know, you know, I also wanted to shout out the uh, We Suck Less or the Stake Underwater forum. It's just stakeunderwater.com. This is also the website where you can download uh, the reactor sort of uh, script plugin system. It's incredible. I haven't talked a lot about Reactor, but I have another video in mind where I might finally uh, talk about some cool Reactor stuff. I've mostly been wanting to dive into just what is available natively in Fusion. And you know, like I haven't run out of <laughs> that stuff yet, but there's a lot of cool stuff um, in Reactor. But if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it for now, because we're just talking about the forums. And as we scroll this forum, you got Blackmagic Design, you got all the fusion, you have a whole section for scripting and fuses and macros. And uh, it just there's the wealth of information from like real professionals in here is is wild. A little while ago, I was trying to recreate an effect that I had seen in like a professional demo of fusion from like over 10 years ago. Um, and turns out the guy who made that really incredible effect runs this website. So, you know, made by pros, people who really know their stuff like uh, Roger who made this number formatter and he tossed it out there into the world. Um, but because not as many people know about cool stuff on the forums, um, some people like, I'm assuming a lot of you missed it. I missed it. So uh, if you want this really excellent tool, um, I will have uh, uh, links and instructions down in the description. My plugin number plus is still out there and available for free as well. I don't think it would be too difficult to sort of rework mine to include all of his extra tools, um, but that might be something I reach out to Roger about. Um, and also that would need, I don't know, tell me if you want that sort of deal. Cause it is, uh, you know, a few extra clicks to jump into Fusion to have all of these controls, but you know, you can get comfortable with that. That's not too awful. But if you want it in the edit page, I understand that too. <laughs> it was such a whirlwind posting my own effect, finding out about this new amazing resource um, that, you know, I wanted to talk to you, you know, about it. There's something cool out there for free. Not as many people know about it. And I also get to talk about forums and forums are, forums are cool in general and forums about DaVinci Resolve and Fusion, extra cool. So go check out forums. Go uh, grab number formatter or uh, number plus if you want it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.